There's been a lot of talk about Alexis Sanchez. Lord knows we've been talking about it in all our hits today. And this is kind of one. But, Craig, Manchester City, we know their interest in the Chilean. But after the Liverpool game, mm. everyone has been saying they might want to look at their defensive issues. Now, looking at their defenders, was it just a bad day for them against Liverpool? Or should they really address these problems? Well, they can do both. Uh, briefly address the Sanchez uh, one that I think that is more dependent on the fitness of Aguero and particularly Jesus mm -hmm. who, who's out at the moment um, rather than if any, def any defender has a has a stinker uh, okay. because Man City have got the, the, the wherewithal yes. to do both. Uh, Johnny Evans has been men mentioned for a long mm -hmm. time. I, I don't think the fact that, that Otamendi and Stones, Stones in particular didn't play well. Otamendi has been playing great this season but as a unit they didn't have a, a, a particularly good game. Uh, Stones has made now at least three mistakes in the last three games uh, that have cost uh, City some goals. You've got the injury to Delph who went off as well. Uh, but yeah, you've the got the goalkeeper making mistakes. Yeah, but well, yeah. I mean, he came out and tried to clear that one, but it's. I, I don't think the whole, this whole thing. I don't think. I don't think Man City are too bothered about this result, right? Because the league's done. In fact, I think it's. A, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's quite a good thing. It's a kick up the backside. It's a reminder. Right, it's a reminder, you know. That they're not invincible. No, you don't take your finger off the, you don't take your eye off the ball, you know, you don't take your finger off the pulse, you've got to keep going. So I don't think this is going to affect the transfer strategy. I just think he's looked long term at Mangala and, and the options and thought, right, I need to bring one or two in. Now, Danilo should be covering both fullback positions. I'm already hearing, oh, well, he doesn't fancy Danilo. Paid a yeah, lot of but money. But you just for don't think he's up to. Par? Well, it came from Real Madrid, paid a lot of money for him, and you're only asking somebody to cover your right back and your left back. I mean, surely, he, God, he should be good enough at 30 million or what it was just to be a cover player. So, centre half, it looks like. Whether it's Johnny Evans, I don't know. I mean, it's hardly an inspiring one for Man City fans, but I think uh, what he's looking for is somebody to cover Otamendi and Stones when company's not fit. John Which Stones. Is often. And a little kick up the backside, well, company probably won't play many games, but it's a little kick up the backside to, to John Stones uh, in particular, I think, to say, listen, come on, you're a really good player, but when you switch off, it's a disaster waiting to happen. Uh, and I think that's what this is. It's cover for injuries and cover for players that, that kind of switch on and off, because when you're under a Guardiola's team, you've got to be focused all the time. All right, thanks so much, Craig Burley. So defensive issues, yeah, they may be there, but Craig doesn't think that they're enough to change City's transfer strategies.